Hello everybody and Homeric welcome Origins. to Homeric Origin. Located in the Medway Estuary near the Isle of Sheppey in Kent, England, lies Dead Man's Island, a small uninspiring stretch of land that contains a dark secret. Over generations, this uninhabited mud bank has inspired tales of supernatural devil's dogs, bodies buried without their skulls and bring eating ghouls to scare the local children from venturing too close to its lonely shores. The truth behind the island stems back to the end of the Napoleonic Wars. At the war's conclusion, some of the naval vessels were repurposed and converted into stationary floating prisons called hawks. The ships were rendered inoperable or unseaworthy, stripped of their mast, rigging and sails. Their gun ports were replaced with steel bars and the gun decks fitted with sails to hold hundreds of convicts. With boys as young as 10 years old who were sentenced to the hulks for petty crimes by the draconian penal laws of the period. Within the Chatham area of Medway, historical record notes at least 10 prison hulks throughout the late 18th and 19th century that included the HMS Canada, HMS Cumberland, renamed Fortitude, HMS Dolphin, renamed Dolphin, HMS Urialox, HMS Ganymedes, HMS Levin, HMS Leviathan, and HMS Edgar, renamed Retribution. The Hulk has quality, filthy conditions and were a festering ground for diseases and illness. Outbreaks of cholera were commonplace, caused by eating food or drinking water contaminated with a bacterium called Vibrio cholera that often resulted in death. The inmates were denied a proper burial as the authorities had to legally depose of the numerous infected corpses and prevent further outbreaks, so the bodies were placed in unmarked graves in isolated location on the Medway mud flats, such as Dead Man's Island. The location of Dead Man's Island. Originally buried in wooden coffins under six feet of mud, coastal erosion and rising sea levels over the past 200 years have washed away the mud on the island to exposed hundreds of human remains at times of low tides. The surface of Dead Man's Island literally live up to the name, a scene from the Maccabi horror movie with human skulls, teeth, and vertebrae littering the shoreline and dozens of exposed coffins and bodies. Identification of the remains is impossible, and the tides of the Medway continuously redeposit body parts with the ongoing erosion. Eventually, Dead Man's Island and its hundreds of lost souls will be taken by the elements and will succumb to the sea. Today, the island is owned by Natural England and is also a site of special scientific interest, with access restricted only accessible with permission to protect the nesting and breeding of birds under the Ramsar Convention. Have you visited this place before or live close to it? Or have any idea or more information about this place? Kindly let us know in comment section. Remember to subscribe to this channel and enable notification for more insightful videos on latest archaeological discoveries. And don't forget to share and give it a like if you enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching.